In this video, we're going to discuss the law of sines and go through an example ACT problem that utilizes it. So typically there are three ways to find the length of a side of a triangle. If you have a right triangle, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is for any right triangle, you can use that formula. If you don't have a right triangle, you can use the law of sines, where you have sine of angle A over side A, sine of angle B over side B, which is equal to sine of angle C over side C. So you have a triangle, angles A, B, and C. The angle opposite of them will be their corresponding side. So A would be opposite of angle A. Side B would be opposite angle B. And side C would be opposite angle C. Now when you know one of the angles and their side and then possibly you know another side or another angle you can figure out the missing one. So if I had so if I had angle A and side A and length B, I can separate ratio sine A over side A equals sine B over side B and then I can figure out what angle B is equal to. Now if I had angle C, I can set up a ratio with sine A over side A equal to sine C over side C and then solve for side C. So if you don't have the correct angles and sides, you have to use the law of cosines. That states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of c. Now for this, if you have triangle ABC, if you have two sides, let's say side b and side a and angle c, if you have that, you can plug that into the law of cosines to determine side C. Now this can be switched around if you need to solve for side B. That would be B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2 times A times C times the cosine of angle B. So that can be rearranged in order to solve for the missing side that you're trying to find. Uh, in the actual ACT problem, they'll either give you the equation for the law of sines or they give you this note saying that the law of sines states that for any triangle, the ratios of the sines of the interior angles to the lengths of the sides opposite those angles are equal. So they're just saying basically this equation in words. Okay, so anytime you see these words, you just have to remember what that actually means. It's the ratio of the sines of the angle divided by the length of the opposite side. Those can be equal to the ratio of you know sine b over the side, the length of side b versus the sine of angle c divided by the length of side c. Okay, so let's take a look at an example ACT problem. So this one reads, in triangle ABC, shown below, the measure of angle B is 50 degrees, the measure of angle C is 35 degrees, and line AB is 15 units long. Which of the following is an expression of the length of units of BC? So the first thing we want to figure out is the measure of angle A. Remember, a triangle has 180 degrees in it, so it's going to be 180. 
minus our other two angles, so minus 35, minus 50. And that's going to give us 95. So this is 95 degrees right here, angle A. All right, so for this one, we have a side, side C, and angle C. And we want to find side BC. So we can use the 15 and 35 and the 95 to figure out side BC. So we can set up our law of sines. So this is going to be basically sine angle C over C, side C, is equal to sine of angle A over side A, which in this case is BC. All right, so sine C is going to be sine. 35 over 15. So you want a sine of 95 or side BC. Now, if we want to solve for this, we need to do cross multiply. So we got a proportion here. So it's going to be BC times the sine of 35 so equal 15 times the sine of 95. Now I get the BC by itself. We divide both sides by sine of 35. And we get side BC is equal to 15 sine 95 or sine 35. And for answer choices, that'd be answer choice B. So here we see they didn't come up with the actual number for side BC, but just the equation of how to come up with it. So hopefully now you understand what the law of signs is and when to use it. And remember, if this video helped you, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And also check out our other ACT math tutorials. Thanks.